In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a really basic trapping uh, method. So what we're going to do, first of all, is just type out the word baseball for this example. And let's use our font, our impact font is one I like to use a lot. We'll go to our envelope tool here in CorelDRAW. Now I have a special envelope already created. So I can go over to my presets here, and what we're going to choose is the double arch option. And you can see there's my double arch. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab my shape tool and grab these nodes and just drag this because I want to stretch that out a little bit. Okay. And then we're going to set the overall width of our design to be 9 inches or whatever size you want. And then I might come back in here now that I look at this full size and maybe even stretch it out a little bit more. Okay. All right. So now what I want to do is I want to do some other text. I tell you what, let's do, um, let's do coach, because I had somebody request that. So let's do coach. And the font that we're going to use is our brush script font. And let's not do all caps, though. I think it looks better if we don't do all caps. Now I'm going to change the color of this just so we can see it a little bit better. Now, I do want to go into wireframe mode here because I want to show you something. When you're using a script font similar to this, you see how these letters, this overlap. So we need to get rid of that. So what we're going to do is select that, go to the Arrange menu, come over to Shaping, and choose Weld. And you can see that's taken care of. Now, if you don't want to always go to the Arrange menu, this is completely off, off basis here, but I just want to show you how cool and easy it is to do certain things in CorelDRAW. We already have this awesome toolbar already created for you, but anytime you want to weld text, script text, and of course you know if you're doing design work, you're using this type of script text all the time. So if you want, this is this option's buried over here. So if you want that option available to you, here's what you can do. You can just hold down the Alt and Control keys, and you can drag this out to our toolbar. So you can see right here, we have a new weld option. So I'm going to undo the welding here, and you can see right now it's grayed out. The reason it's grayed out is because it's not available. But as soon as we click on something where we could use that, it lights up. So how cool is that? And we can just click that button right here instead of going to Arrange, Shaping, etc etc so very very useful option here if you find yourself using a function that's completely buried by default you can bring it right out here into the open where everyone gets to see it all right let's go back to enhanced mode here and remember that 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 keyboard shortcut control alt you could drag anything from any menu drag it wherever you want. Boundary is something I actually use quite a bit too. So let's control, alt. You want to make sure you hit your control key first. If you don't, you hit your alt key, menu goes away. So we've got to go back to it again. But control, alt, click a drag right here, right next. And now we have boundary and now we have weld. Pretty cool, right? And I use those two options a lot. And the only way to get to them is through the arrange menu, through the shaping menu, because they're buried. So Anyhow, all right, so what we want to do is talk about trapping. But what we're going to do first is we're going to apply a contour to baseball. So we'll go to contour, click and drag, create a contour. Then we want to do the same thing with our coach. Click and drag, create a contour of our coach, like such, okay? So then what we're going to do is we're going to right click on our contour and break it apart and right click on this contour and break it apart. Now, what I need to do is I need to trim away where this contour is sitting on top of baseball. I need to trim away that underlying text. So select both, trim away. And now you can see baseball has been trimmed. Then I'm going to take both of the red pieces and weld them together. Then I'm going to get rid of all the little bits and pieces here. So all of these, I've decided I'm going to get rid of all of that, this, and maybe even this, and this. Okay? 
So now what you're looking at is this one basically solid piece of red and then you have your two text on top. So if you have somebody who is a little bit more budget minded, you could just use these two pieces. But if you have somebody who wants that extra color, you have that option too. So, but now we gotta set up the trap. And the trap is real simple. You have two separate pieces of text here. These are not together. So we're gonna add a contour, one millimeter, one mm, to the inside, and then a contour to the inside. So both coach has been offset by one millimeter and baseball has been offset by one millimeter. So then we right click, break contour group apart, select the inside contour and the red background and trim. Delete the contour. Same thing with coach. Right click, break contour group, select your inside contour and your red, trim. Delete your inside contour. Visually, nothing changes, but now when you move your red outside, you see it has a hole punched into it. And that's what we need. So when you, if we double click on this, you see that little bit of overlap, a little bit of trapping there all the way around, even on, you see where the coach is gonna hide that when we put those colors on top. Okay, so baseball and coach could be one color, could be two colors, whatever the case might be. So let's go ahead and drag over an easy stone here. We'll slap a weed box around it. Let's go ahead and throw a some glitter on there. And I don't know, we could maybe do this in black if we wanted to, or maybe we'll do it in silver glitter. No, we can't do it in silver glitter. Um, we could do it that way. Maybe we do it in black glitter. Whatever you want to do, it doesn't really matter, but you get the idea um, of how, how this would look. And you can see how really easy that method is, uh, that trapping method. Now, I like to use a millimeter because it gives me a little bit more play when you're going to lay down your various colors. Some people I know use a half a millimeter, some use a three quarters of a millimeter, whatever you want to use, play with that trapping and figure out what amount of trapping you think works best for you. Um, I'd recommend a millimeter, but if you want to use something different, you can, but it's really that simple to set up that trapping. So really nothing that magical or special about it. Um, so hopefully, that will clarify how to properly set up those trappings um, when you're doing these types of two color designs.